Let's take it slow Where you go, I go to And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you Let's take it slow Who cares where we gotta be You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me Let's take it slow Good morning everyone and welcome to my channel My name is Chantal Gregg I am a wife and stay-at-home mom of of three girls this week is spring break so my kids are home with me you're gonna hear them you might see them pop in here and there I don't really show my kids but they are with me today usually I go grocery shopping when my husband has the day off um, but today I just want to do a quick stock up and get it done um, like I said my name is Chantal Gregg I make content related to motherhood so anything from cooking to cleaning budgeting decorating and anything in between today I'm doing my grocery haul I spent $220 altogether 75 of that were from toiletries and 145 was from groceries it is my groceries for a week I will be sharing with you some grocery budgeting tips if you haven't seen my video from last week that was just budgeting tips I highly recommend seeing it I will have it linked down below today I'm going to also be sharing some organizing tips and there was one more thing oh today i'm going to be sharing some organizing tips as well as the, the very end of the video i went to tj maxx and i got a couple things for my bedroom makeover so you will get to see a special little clip of that at the end so stay tuned for that um i will also be sharing with you my meal plan my dinners for the next week and our breakfast and snack ideas if you are my, new to my channel, please subscribe. I would love to have you here. And if you're a returning friend, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all the support I've gotten since starting my YouTube channel. And it's been such a positive experience for me. And I didn't realize there was such a great supportive community on here already. So that was such a nice benefit. Just wanted to share that with you. And I'm going to get right into my haul. This is my overall haul. It is a combination of toiletries. I went over to Target and did a Target pickup. I've never done that before, so I highly recommend if you have little ones to order online and pick up in the parking lot. They put everything in my trunk and it was so simple and so easy. And yes, I probably realize I'm old to the game of that, but I that was the first time I ever did it and I got all my toiletries done, which are back there. And I'm so happy I did. It just made it really simple and easy. And after that, I went to Market Basket. Um, one of my tips is to go to the grocery store you can. So I travel, it takes about 15 minutes to get there. Um, but it is worth it for all the sales. All right, so I'm gonna start with everything I got from Target. I'm so excited. I got this new mop. It has like a bucket, it's a spin mop. I seen it at Target about a month or two ago and I've just been wanting to get it. I don't have a proper mop, so this one I'm really excited to get. I got some, um, it was $30. I got some toilet refills for my bathroom. I love using those, I don't have to touch the toilet bowl, so. It's one of my favorites. Um, I got these new microfiber cloths. Someone recommended them to me to get for cleaning my TVs and mirrors. So I'm excited to use those and I love like that lilac color. Right here I have my favorite scent which is Mrs. Meyer's peony scent. Um, it smells so pretty so I got it uh, the biggest one I could buy which is a money saving tip and I'm just gonna make it in my little like water bottle that I have. Um, I picked up some deodorant for my husband that wasn't from Target. And if you are a mom or you have little ones that use diapers, I highly recommend Loves. This is the brand that I've used for all of my kids. I have this for my baby. She's almost two. We are potty training, but I buy the biggest one I can. It's $25 um, and it's a pretty big pack. And I will show you how I organize and store those after. And I think that's all that I got from Target. Yep. So now over here, I'll show you guys my pantry items. So I got some Cheez-Its for my husband. Um, they're $3 a box. For my baking items, I got some cornbread. This brand, Crustes, I'm probably saying it wrong, is really great. It, they have all natural ingredients and no dyes or preservatives, so I love that. So I got honey cornbread. My little girls, they love um, blueberry muffins in the morning. I actually baked a whole thing of them a few days ago over there and I got this Ancient Greens, cere um, not cereal, pasta. Usually I get a chickpea pasta, but I wanted to try this out, it was on sale. I got some croutons for my salads. I've been eating a lot more salads lately. And I got a big thing of granola bars for my girls and these kind granola bars. This is the almond butter dark chocolate. It was $3 a box. Um, I like to grab these for a super quick and easy snack. I got animal crackers. I usually buy this once a week to stock up. They're less than $2 and it's just great to have for them. I got some 
apple cinnamon, rice cakes. Um, they were, I think, $2.50. The coffee I get, I'm from Massachusetts, so New England coffee. The kind I love is hazelnut, but they didn't have it, so I got the donut shop, donut shop blend. For some more cooking items, I got some basil leaves. I'm gonna be baking a beef bergeron in my Dutch oven, so I'm really excited about that, and I didn't have any. Usually, in the summer, I have a big garden, and I dry all my herbs, and I have them in my basement, and I grind them up, but I actually just ran out of all my herbs, so next year, I'm gonna be making some more of that. I also got some pearled onions for my beef bergeron. I stocked up on my minced garlic. I like having this because it's just easier than cutting the garlic fresh. It is cheaper to cut it fresh, so if you are going for the cheaper route, just buy fresh garlic and chop it. I just like this for the convenience of like quick meals during the week. Now, they had this brand of sauce on sale at Market Basket this week. It was only $5 usually. I think it's eight or nine dollars. And I normally don't buy it because it's so expensive, but I'm gonna be making this like chicken tortellini pasta bake. So I got this to add into it. And then I got some beef cooking stock. I thought I got the organic one, but I must have messed that up. And I got some freezer bags. I always freeze my leftovers if I know I'm not gonna eat them in the next few days. That way I have something in my fridge that I can just grab. Um, over here we have our dairy products. Budgeting tip is I buy the biggest bag of cheese I possibly can. So this was about $7. It's just a Mexican cheese blend, but it lasts us so long. It'll last us about four to six weeks, more depending on how much cheese we're using, but I highly recommend buying in bulk. You can get the best deals and the best prices and make really stretch your grocery budget. Um, like I said, we do, I budget $200 a week for a family of five. Today I did go over, but that's okay because I got a lot of, um, you know, bigger toiletry items such as diapers. I got the, this cheese for my Caesar salads. I got some cream cheese for that tortellini dish I'm making, and I got sour cream for my mashed potatoes. We don't eat any specific diet, but we I try to cook as whole foods as I can. And I will make mashed potatoes from scratch. I got chicken nuggets for my girls. It's just a quick and easy lunch if I don't have something already made, so I do like to have that. They're, I think, 3 or $4 for this. And now all of my meats, I'll let you know what I'm gonna be making. I always have enough food for eight days. I go grocery shopping for a week, but if you're a mom, I recommend getting an, one extra, just in case you don't, you're not able to run to the grocery store in time. Um, it's cheaper to make something that you already have than to get takeout. So I bought this ground turkey. I'm going to be making a turkey chili, I think in my Dutch oven, but if I don't want to do a lot of cleaning up, I might just do it in my crock pot. I bought a steak. Um, this was $4 for a pound of it. I get the 93% lean. Our steak, this was $6 a pound. And it's a steak I use for my stir fries, the Petite New York sirloin. And this I got, I'm gonna be doing a shepherd's pie. I got the 85% lean ground beef. It's $3.69 a pound, and I spent $4 on it. Um, this is for the beef bergeron. I'm probably saying that wrong, but bear with me. <laughs> um, I got a beef chuck. It was $4 a pound, and it's two and a half pounds, so it was just under $10. I'm very excited to make that. I'm also going to be making a crock pot chicken Caesar um, salad but in the crock pot, I'm gonna be making the chicken and I add a Caesar yogurt with some cheese in the crock pot and I let it cook all day and it comes out really good. And down here, I make a French chicken dinner. It's kind of like a cross between Mary Me chicken and this like French chicken recipe I found and I just cut these in half. I buy the cheapest kind of chicken I can. It's $2.80 a pound and I for the recipe, it calls for the thin sliced chicken. So all I do is I slice them in half instead of buying the pre-cut chicken because it, that one is about $4 a pound. So you'll save a lot of money by buying it as whole as possible. Um, what I didn't buy this week, but I'm gonna be making is also a crock pot whole chicken recipe. Um, I have a video of that on its own. I also have one that I made for a Valentine's Day dinner. I will link that down below too. And for some dairy, I got butter. This was $2.50. We just have it. I always have butter on my counter. I bought one carton of eggs this week. Usually I buy three, but I had plenty left. I'll show you how I organize these. And our fruits and veggies, I bought some blueberries. 
which I will show you how I organize those to make them last longer. I got some sliced mushrooms, they were $2. In here I have, um, I use produce bags and I highly recommend using reusable bags or produce bags. Um, my stepmother actually got these for me on Amazon. That way you're using less waste and it's less trash you have to throw out and pay for. I bought my girls some grapes for to go with their lunches. I got a whole head of romaine. The cheapest way to buy vegetables is to buy them as whole as possible. So this was $1.80 for this huge um, bushel of romaine. So I'm going to put that aside because I still have cut romaine from last week. So I'm going to put it in my drawer and just cut it when I need it. And then I bought asparagus. They were on sale for $2 a pound. So I'm going to be making this along with the stir fry, I think. For the tortellini, I just got Market Basket brand cheese tortellini. They were $1.60 a bag. And over here we have a big bag of broccoli. We have vegetables with every dinner, so I love to have frozen vegetables on hand. And I got some spinach to go with that tortellini dinner. Now for our drinks, buy it. The biggest container you can possibly get is going to be the cheapest. So we get 100% apple juice for my girls. I mix it with water, or I dilute it with water. And it's $2 a container. This is our orange juice. I get Market Basket brand. Budgeting tip, buy the store brand item. It's always the cheapest, almost always the cheapest. This was $2.50. I got two gallons of milk. We use it for the girls' drinks as well as for our coffees. We have an espresso machine, so we make our coffees at home to save money. Those are $2.50 a gallon. And energy drinks. These, I, I always have like such a predicament about. They are expensive. They're a very expensive grocery item. I wanna say they're $7. But I buy them at the grocery store and if someone in your family, your husband or your children or your wife drinks energy drinks, I highly recommend getting them at the grocery store. I don't condone drinking them, but I wanted to share that with you because when I buy them, I believe it ends up being about $1.75 per drink, which if you go to the store, they're almost $4 per drink. So my husband drinks them every day and if I don't buy them, he will buy them at the store. So it's just cheaper to buy it. Um, at the grocery store rather than a convenience store. And my drink I have over here, um, Poland Seltzer Water. It was $4 and it comes with, I think, 12 of them. Yeah, it comes with 12 of them and I have that for my dinners. So that's my overall haul and we're gonna get it all done. So I'm gonna show share with you how I organize all of this and put it away. I also wanted to share with you before I put it all away. Today it is like rainy and it's supposed to snow in a little bit. It's just like one of those cold days. On cold days, I love to just like stay home and get things done, clean, cook, meal prep, um, you know, put away my groceries and just get the house like homey feeling. Like I love staying home on rainy days. I wanna know if you guys do too, if you do, um, love staying home on rainy days. Let me know down below in the comments. I love to talk to you guys It's just nice to be able to communicate after I'm done making these videos So let me know down below. What do you do on rainy days? I love to stay home and stay productive Do you like to stay home and watch movies with your kids? All right, and I'm gonna put these all away Oh also another tip I pride myself on how little food I truly waste if you want to save money try to Use as much food as you have try to have as least waste as possible for me, I like to do it to save money and also I just like to do what I can to save the planet. I know that sounds so funny and like a cliche, but it's really true. For myself, I use reusable grocery bags, reusable produce bags, and I burn all of our cardboard and I recycle all of our plastic. If you do any of that, let me know. And if you don't, I don't judge you. I just like to share things that I do. Anyways, a huge tip on saving food and not wasting it is to freeze your meat. So I will freeze as many things as I can. You can freeze your milks, your cheese, your butters. Um, but for the meats, I leave enough meat out for three days or three dinners and the rest I just freeze and I find that I rarely have to throw out food. Last year, I think I threw out honestly two containers of meat throughout the entire year. So that is a really great tip. If you didn't know you could freeze meat, you absolutely can. And I just take it out the night before to thaw it and I stick it in my fridge or I, if I know I'm not going to cook dinner for a few days with this item, I'm just going to leave it in my fridge for a few days to thaw.
diapers the way I organize them is I take everything out of the box and I'll show you how I cut the packages to make it easy to store my pantry So for my diapers, I cut them in half, the bags in half, and I put them in my pantry like this. And that way, when you need a diaper is when usually you don't want to have to undo all the packaging and take the time to get it done because usually you need one right then and there. So I do this that way in case I do forget to stock her little caddy, I'm able to just grab this out and have pull one right out. If you have kids in diapers, I highly recommend doing that. It just makes your life that much more easier and that much more organized. Um, what I also recommend doing when I get diapers, I get them once a month. They're $25. I get loves. She's a size 5. I make sure my back diaper backpack is stocked up and her caddy stocked up. That way I'm good to go and it's already there if I need it. Then I just put the rest in my pantry and when I know I have two rows left, I go ahead and I order another one for next month. For my croutons, I keep this inside my like corner cabinet that's like my small pantry because my big pantry is not very well insulated and in the w winter it gets really, really cold. So I'm just going to refill this. of me putting all this away I will show you my organized pantry and the cabinet I keep this in and at the very end of all putting the groceries away I will show you guys what I got for my bedroom so for my blueberries, I store them in here. This is the OXO fresh container. They do truly last seven days in here if, if my kids don't eat them all. And all I do is I take the strainer out. I put the blueberries in and wash them. I recycle the container. I'm 
done rinsing them off, I just put them on a towel and I let them dry in my kitchen for the day or overnight. In the morning, I put them back in here and I put this whole thing in my fridge and it really does make them last a long time. For the grapes, I just rinse them off. What are you doing? Are you playing? And this is real life, um, my kitchen. I have to finish putting the groceries away. I mean, the, putting the clean dishes away. My little one is playing in the box right now and my older girls are upstairs playing with their Barbie dream house. Um, so this is like real life. I didn't prep anything before I did this. And my kids got into the grapes while I was grocery shopping, so. I just let them. And I just let the grapes dry before I put them in my bowl and I just stick that right in the fridge. Um, the asparagus, normally I would cut the ends off and stick them in water, but I know I'm gonna make them within the next few days, so I'm just gonna put them away. Careful. And my eggs, like I said, I usually buy three cartons a week and we do go through them, but I still have a bunch left over from last week, so I'll show you how I organize them. I have this clear container. Okay, I have this clear container that I use. It just takes up less space than having three egg cartons in my fridge. And I actually have... Cause when you knock me in, I'm in for life. Don't care, it's a crew. All right, once I get this put away, I will show you guys my organize. Oh, I have a video coming out of a kid deep clean and organize with me. Keep your eyes open for that. I am so excited for that video. I spend an entire Saturday cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. And when I was done, it looked brand new. So I'm excited for that video to be shown. All right, so my fridge is not super organized because it's so filled. But here's a little glimpse. So up here I have like my eggs and my dairy products behind here. I have some meal prepped lunches, my meal prepped chicken, um, a leftover pizza. Um, never throw away leftovers, just save them. <laughs> I have my kids chicken nuggets. I have some more lunches, my oats for breakfast. Back there I have my salad. Um, we have like our drinks over here, our water, some more meal prep food. I had to stick my spinach here. I put in the video you're gonna see in a few weeks, I'll show you how I made these. I just put drawer liners for all of my veggies and all of our cheeses are in here. And those are my drawers. I'll show you how I organize my pantry. At the very, very tippy top, I put our party like products up there. I have our wipes. I have all of our diapers here, and I do try to have be a month ahead on that. Um, for our paper products, I put them in here as well, and I recommend taking the plastic off of your paper towels and toilet paper because, like I said, yeah, you're being so silly. Um, I recommend taking the plastic off because when you need it is when you're not going to want to have to take the time to unwrap it. Um, over here, I just have like my baggies and trash bags. Over here, I have my medicine and vitamins, which I love this turntable. It makes life so much easier. I also bought a turntable for all my spices. It is linked in my Valentine's Day Clean and Decorate with me. I'll link that down below. And that one came out really nice too, my husband's cologne. Over here, this isn't super organized and it's not completely finished, so I will be doing a pantry organization video. But this is what it is for now. We have like all of our snacks in this one. I have the kids like lunch snacks. And this is all my baking backup supplies. Um, over here, this is where I keep all of my canned goods and my drinks and my baking goods. So we have all of our energy drinks here, the seltzer waters. Back there we have my coffee, which is for my Nespresso machine. Um, we have all of our cans and I bought these amazing organizers. They're like little steps and it's tiered so that way I could organize all of my cans. Um, and this system has been working really well because when I can see everything, I'm able to not buy more than I need or not run out of stuff. So over here I have all of like my beans and stuff for chilies. 
I have my kids spaghettios I have back here my salad dressings um, my pasta sauces my jelly the tuna fish and some salt up here up here I have all of our Tupperware and I know it looks like a lot and it really is but by the end of the week I end up using all of this for my cooking I cook everything from home pretty much everything from scratch and I did a huge declutter a few months ago and these are everything I use up here I have my beautiful like crystal serveware I'm using my cake stand right now it's usually right there um, for parties I keep up there so we have my small crock pot our waffle maker, my large crock pot, our instant pot. Down here I have our toilet paper. Um, for the Nespresso machine, if you have one, the pods are recyclable. So I just keep them in here in, in an open bag. I wanted to show you guys up here. Um, Valentine. I'm hoping to get this video out in time, but Valentine's Day was yesterday. My husband bought me this beautiful rose. If you've seen my decorating videos, um, you'll see the rest, but this one is a gold dipped rose and it's a lilac color. Sorry, my little one is just playing with the box and it's really pretty. And I just have my candle, which I'm going to light, and my meal plan. That's from last week. I'm going to redo it um, for this week. And here is the last of my haul for today. This is everything I got from TJ Maxx. Hey, sweetie. Um, as I promised, I'd show you a little glimpse of my bedroom what I bought for my bedroom. I'm really excited to be doing this bedroom makeover. It has been a work in progress over the course of two years. So I will probably be doing that sometime in the spring. And if you made it to watching this far in the video, let me know in the comments down below um, a question you have for me. I'm gonna be doing a question and answer soon along with the bedroom makeover video. So if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching this whole thing. Everything I got is from, actually it was not all from TJ Maxx my cat is with me because my kids are in the other room playing um this is gorgeous look at the light pink color my bedroom is pretty white everything in it is white um so i wanted to get a touch of color to kind of tie everything in so this was i think 12 dollars at tj maxx and it has this beautiful little white base with it and i just love the touch of pink in that I got this pillow at Hobby Lobby. It was 50% off, so it was $15, and it's just this beautiful blush pink color that I wanna just tie the room and give it a little bit of a feminine touch. And back here, look at how gorgeous the sparkle is. It's like a pink, a blush pink with like a deeper pink and gold glitter overlay. It is a picture on a canvas, and it was on sale half off at Hobby Lobby for about $45. Um, normally, I wouldn't get something this big. This is kind of like a big statement, but I have a wall in my bedroom that has nothing on it, and I just think the colors are gonna tie everything in so it's not a just pure white room. I think it'll give it just a touch of like a romantic vibe, which is what I wanted for my room. Design it the way I wanted to and not have to worry about anything breaking in here. So I'm really excited. I was hoping to be able to put it up today. Um, I might once I'm done this video. So yeah, so this is gonna be featured in my bedroom makeover. If you have any questions um, you want answered, leave me, let me know down below in the comments so I can get some ideas of some questions to make with my bedroom makeover. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. I appreciate every subscriber I've received this far. And if you are new to my channel, please take a moment to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you will be the first to know for next week's video. Keep an eye out for my kitchen deep clean with me. If you have any video suggestions, let me know down below. Um, I love talking with you guys and I will see you next time. Bye.